Hi, so today we're working on lesson seven, problem set. So for your problem set paper, you're only going to do problems one, A, B, C. I did problems two, A, B, C. So if you happen to get stuck, look at the examples that I did on that same page on number two, and it, your answer will be a very, very similar answer, just a different problem, okay? So let's go over problem one first. It says complete the chart. Then plot the points on the coordinate plane below. So looking at the chart, it says X, Y, and it's giving you the X points and the Y points. So first it says complete the chart. So you need to fill in the blanks over here. So that means you're making the coordinate pairs, okay? So for X and Y for this blank here, I'm using the X and the Y on this same row. So I have 0, 1. So we're going to write parentheses. 0, comma, 1, parentheses. Okay, there's your first one. So then the next one, we have 2 for x, 3 for y. So then we're going to write parentheses, 2, comma, 3, parentheses. Okay, oh, I, whoops, just a comma. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so same thing for your next two blanks. You need to fill in all four of these on your problem set. So it already gave you the first part and then the second part. You need to fill in these other two um, on your paper. Don't forget you have to put parentheses in here because the parentheses mean that this is a group that stays together. This is a group that stays together. This is a group that stays together, okay? So then go ahead and click pause and then um, plug in your answers and then come back over here and click play. Okay, now for the first part, for the next part on number one, so you completed the chart on class kick, put in your answers, and says, come then plot the points on the coordinate plane below. Um, it's not below, it's kind of to the side, but you know where to go. So your coordinate plane looks kind of like this. So it has a zero, the origin. Then on the x-axis, it's counting by twos, but it's skipping every other line. So it's not showing you all of the digits, but you can use your problem solving and your thinking skills to say, well, if this is zero and this is two and there's another line right here, then that's one. And then this one would be three and this one would be five. Okay, so it goes zero, two, four, six, Eight, ten, and then it, it goes up to 12 but it has that arrow on the line oh mine kind of got erased I'm sorry so it has that arrow on the line which means that line go, can go on forever and ever and ever as long as we need it to okay so then it has on the y-axis it has the similar pattern okay where it's counting by twos so zero two four six eight ten twelve so that means every blank line is a one is also a whole, so it'd be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay? So now you're using the coordinate planes, the coordinate points that you made on your table. So 0, 1 to plot it onto your coordinate plane. Okay, so I'm going to use my green marker for this. So 0, 1 are the first coordinate pairs. So 0 on the x-axis, so then that means I would stay right here in the corner, and then 1 on the y-axis, so 1 up. So right here. Try to make it big enough that you can see it. Okay, so now the next one. So looking at my table, my table says 2, 3. So... 2 on the x-axis, 3 on the y-axis, so that would be about right here. Oops, make sure you make it... Sorry. 2, 3, there we go. Okay, so then you would put the next one. Plot the next one, I mean. Not just put it, we're plotting. And then the last one. Okay. 
Okay, so now I want you to look at these points. These four points all look like they're going in the same direction. Okay, so now A, question 1A, it says use a straight edge. A straight edge is like a ruler, but we don't have rule rulers and you're doing this on your Chromebook, so you don't need to use one to draw a line connecting these points. So now you're using the pen mode or the line mode tool to connect these four points together, okay? So starting with this one, this one, make it as straight as you can, and then try to keep going a little bit farther because our lines can go on forever and ever and ever. Okay, so draw that on your class kick assignment and then come back over here so we can do problem B. Okay, problem B. Write a rule showing the relationship between the x and y coordinates of points on the line. So this one, you're going to need to look at your table to show a, to write a rule. Rule is like a pattern. They're the same thing. You're looking for patterns. So what is the rule for between all four of these points, okay? So you just need to write one rule. If you find two rules, you can write in two rules if it fits on your um, blank. But you need at least one rule. So one rule for the X or the Y or one rule for the X compared to the Y, the Y compared to the X, any pattern that you see, okay? So now think about what I talked about on the first page for if you're looking at patterns, if you look at the X, zero, two, four, six, what could be the next one? For the Y's, it goes one, three, five, seven, what could be the next one? If we're comparing the X to the Y axis, zero, one. I see zero is less than one whole. Two, three. I see three is more than two. Look at the patterns between the next two. Okay, so, I know, so now I want you to write one full sentence about one pattern that you see on the table. Okay, so click pause, write in your answer, and then come back over here so we can finish up problem C. Okay, problem C. Oops, I keep putting my finger on it. Problem C says, name two other points that are on this line. Okay, so you're looking at your table. So two other points that you could make on this line. These two other points have to fit in with the pattern as well. Okay, so if you're looking at your table to make the next points down here, so it says two more, so I'd have to extend this down to make two more rows, just like that, okay? So I'll find out this is going zero, two, four, six. I'm assuming the next one could be eight because it's counting by twos. And the next one could be 10 because it's counting by twos. So then for the Y's, if it's going, if it's counting every odd number, so one, three, five, seven, nine, would be the next one 11 okay these are two other points that fit on this line they fit with this pattern so if we were to plot them if so now I'm going to plot both of these points so 8 comma 9 10 comma 11 in parentheses now I'm going to plot both of these points on my coordinate plane and they're going to fit on this line because they fit in with the rule of these points, okay? So now I'll use a different color. Let me just get another marker. Let's do red. Okay. So now my next one is 8 and 9. So I have to go 8 on the x-axis, 9 on the y-axis. If I can find it, sorry. 8. Right? Yeah. So 8, 9. Ah. Okay, there it is. 8, 9. So the next one is 10, 11. 
So, oh, you can't see that very good. There we go. 10, 11, right here. There we go. Oops, I did that on 10, 10. Oh, too low. There we go. Oops. Okay, so there we go. There is your lesson seven problem set. Um, if you remember, if you get stuck, then look on number two, how I did it on the paper. And then your work is automatically saved for you. Make sure you did your fluency part and make sure you also did 30 minutes of Zern, 30 minutes of Zern every day, okay? I miss you guys. Bye.